Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Wednesday's Thought for the Day. Yesterday, we saw that Paul was praying that we might have power to live for Jesus. Now, Paul is praying that we might have power to grasp the limitless dimensions of the love of Christ. Ephesians 3, verses 17 to 19, Paul writes, I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power together with all the Lord's holy people, to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. Paul's readers know God's love for them in Christ Jesus. They have been rooted and established in love. But Paul wants them to appreciate the love of Christ even more. He wants them to have power to grasp just how great the love of Christ is. So Paul uses different dimensions to think of the limitless love of Jesus. So Jesus' love is so wide that it includes people from every corner of the globe. Jesus' love is so long that it stretches from eternity to eternity. Jesus' love is so high that he takes his people to be with him in the kingdom of heaven forever. Jesus' love is so deep that it moves him to descend from heaven to earth and identify with sinners. But how do we know that Jesus really does love us? Well, Jesus' love has been shown in action, in history. Paul would go on to write in chapter 5, verse 2, Christ loved us and gave himself up for us. So at the cross, as Jesus died, he gave up his life in order to bring us forgiveness for all our wrongdoing. In love, he adopts us as his children into his family. As Jesus hung on the cross, he faced God's anger for the sin of his people. And he did that because he loves you intensely and longed for you to know the forgiveness of God and the friendship of God. So Paul prays here that we might have power together with all the Lord's people to grasp the limitless love of Jesus. So perhaps you know someone who's really struggling at this time. Maybe they're going through a dark time. Pray that they will really come to know the depths of God's love for them when doubts come. Perhaps you know someone who's tempted to drift away from Christ, to wander into the path of sin. Pray that they too may be reminded of God's love for them at the cross. And that will stop them from turning their back on God's son, who loves them so deeply. And the reason Paul prays this is explained in verse 19. To know this love. That surpasses knowledge, that ye may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. So Paul wants us to have the power to grasp the greatness of the love of God in Christ Jesus, so that you and I may become mature in Jesus. Perhaps we think we are spiritually mature because of our theology, our education, our years of experience, our traditions. But Paul knows that we cannot be as mature as we ought to be until we know this love that surpasses knowledge. As we appreciate afresh the wonder of Jesus' love for us, we grow in our relationship with him and obey him ever more deeply. Let's pray now. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your amazing love for each of us and help us to appreciate that even more today. Help us to know the limitless love of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Amen. Have a good Wednesday. See you tomorrow.